the word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. The word was made flesh and dwelt amongst us. May the peace and joy of the holy Christmas be with you today. Today is Christmas, the day that we have been waiting for with prayer, fasting and penance. A day of the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Savior. Our Advent journey has reached its destination. Christmas, as we know, is the manifestation of the love of the Heavenly Father for us in His only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, in the most humble manner, but most personal manner. Christmas also is a celebration of time. Christmas is the tenderness for the past, courage for the present, and hope for the future. Jesus Christ, who is Alpha and Omega, who is the beginning and the end, who is above time and space, comes in the time and space to bless them. The Word made flesh and pitched its tent among us, a tent of peace and joy, a tent of love and life. The tent tells us the stories, the salvific stories of the past and inspiration for the future. And most importantly, there in the tent, we see heaven's most important, most special and the greatest gift for the earth. A gift so special, a gift so tangible and a gift so personal to be experienced here and now. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Christmas invites you and me to make a journey from the past memories to the present reality, to make a journey from the crib to Christ. My dear friend, we live in a time of uncertainty. No one knows what's going on. Lots of things are new, lots of things are strange, and no one knows when it all going to end. Jesus comes in this Christmas to bless your time, to cure your past wounds, to remove your present uncertainty, and to shed light to your future darkness and to bring clarity to the future confusions. My dear friend, how open is your heart to Christ and how blessed is your present Rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say, rejoice. Wish you once again a blessed Christmas. And may the word made flesh redeem us. Amen.